Alexander. Peppa and George's cousins are coming to visit today. Mummy, how long before Cousin Chloe is here? Not long now, Peppa. Baby Alexander is coming too, remember? Oh, babies cry all the time. They're so noisy. I'm sure Baby Alexander won't be that noisy. <coughs> What's that sound? <coughs> Is it a car alarm? Is it a fire engine? No, it's Baby Alexander. <coughs> Auntie Pig. You remember baby Alexander, don't you, Peppa? Yeah! <laughs> Are you staying for a few days? No, this is what Alexander needs for just one day. Can't go anywhere without all these baby things. Oh. Hello, baby Alexander. He can't talk, Peppa. If he can't talk, then how do you know what he wants? We guess. <coughs> I'm guessing he's hungry. Peppa, would you like to help feed Alexander? Yes, please. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Peppa is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> Ugh, he keeps turning his head. Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> That was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you, he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Peppa, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander <laughs> is having a bath. <laughs> this is Mr Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <laughs> but he will. Talk one day, then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Peppa. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa has found a big muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig's computer. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig. What's this? A cuckoo clock? Yes, it goes cuckoo, cuckoo. But it's broken. Can you mend it, please, Grandpa Pig? Hmm. Let's take it to my shed. 
This is Grandpa Pig's shed, where Grandpa mends things. I'll take a look inside. Grandpa! Now you've really broken it. Oh, I wonder if I've got a book on clocks. Ah, here we are. How clocks work. Grandpa Pig has mended the cuckoo clock. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Mummy, Grandpa's mended the cuckoo clock. That's nice. What's that? It's my old computer. I can't mend that. It's not broken. I've got a new computer. I thought you might like my old one. Um, I I'm not sure. I, I, I really need one. Oh, a computer. What does it do? You can do letters with it. Look, Granny. A, B, C, D. And numbers. One, two, three. I'm afraid we might break it by pressing the wrong button. <laughs> don't worry, you can't break it. Just don't feed it milk or biscuits or jelly. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing it does is Happy Mrs Chicken. When you press this button, she lays an egg. I am very good at it, but George is the best. <laughs> Fun. Uh, perhaps we uh, should keep the computer, Granny Pig. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Uh, shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes. Let's do some numbers and letters. Pepper and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh, Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There, that should do it. I am mended. Hooray! My grandpa is the best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? No, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow! So, I've got some work to do, catching up. <laughs> Santa's Grotto. It is Christmas Eve. <laughs> Hands up, who wants to go and see Father Christmas? Me, me, me! Are we going to the North Pole? Not quite that far, Peppa. But Father Christmas lives at the North Pole. Lucky for us, he's got a grotto at the Christmas fair. Pepper and George have come to visit Santa's grotto. Hello, everyone. Hello. All aboard the elf train. This way to Santa's grotto. Susie, what are you asking Father Christmas for? I don't know. What are you asking for? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. I'll ask 
ask for that too. How does Father Christmas remember what toys everybody wants? He makes a list. His sleigh must be very fast to go around the whole world in one night. It's a super sleigh! Father Christmas is really old. He's hundreds of years old. Even older than my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's Grotto! Ooh. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, everyone. Hello, Father Christmas. Have you all been good? Yes. Yeah. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes. Have you? Oh, 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 of course. Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <coughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a Toy train? A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, I'll see what I can do. Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. We've met before. Ah, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. <laughs> Goodbye, Father Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Peppa and her family are driving back from the Christmas fair. Daddy, why have we got our bags in the car? We're spending Christmas at Granny and Grandpa's house. But Father Christmas won't know where we are. Don't worry, Peppa. Father Christmas knows everything. Granny Pig, it's nearly Christmas. Yes, and I've got a very important job for you. Stir the Christmas pudding and make a wish. Peppa and George are making a wish. Racing car. Oh, don't tell me what it is. <laughs> Here's the mince pie and a drink for Father Christmas. And a carrot for the reindeer. <laughs> Who can that be at this time of night? We're not buying anything. Merry, Merry joyful, joyful greetings, festive happy cheer. Carol singers, always falling gently. Christmas time. Oh, Merry Christmas! It is bedtime for Pepper and George. This used to be my bedroom when I was a little piggy. Father Christmas knows where Granny and Grandpa live, doesn't he? Oh yes, he's been here many times before. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Pepper and George have fallen asleep. When they wake up, it will be Christmas Day. The Secret Club. <laughs> Peppa has come to play with Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Why have you got that mask on your face? So people don't know it's me. I'm in a secret club. Ooh, can I be in your secret club? Shh. It's not easy to get into. You have to say the secret word. What word? Flubber double. Flubber double? Right, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Dog has come to play. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Shh. What? I'm in a secret club. I'm in it too. Ooh. Pedro Pony, Candy Cat and Rebecca Rabbit have come to play. Hello! Shh! Susie and Peppa are in a secret club. Can we join your secret club? It's very hard to get into. 
You have to say the secret word. Shalamakuki. Shalamakuki? That's not the word I said. It changes all the time to keep it secret. Oh. Are we in the secret club now? You're in. What do we do? We do secret things in secret. And secretly go on secret missions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Show us how you do a secret mission. Yes, show us. Uh, Peppa can do it. You've got the mask on, Susie. OK, my secret mission is to get biscuits. Watch this. Susie Sheep is trying not to be seen. Mummy, can I have some biscuits for my friends, please? Of course. Here you are. Thank you, Mummy. Susie Sheep has returned with the biscuits. Hooray! Shh! Hooray! Did anyone see you? No. Well, only a grown-up. Look out! Would you like some juice to go with your biscuits? What biscuits? The biscuits I just gave you for your friends. Oh, Susie! What's the matter? We're in a secret club doing secret things and Susie's told everyone. Oh, can I be in your secret club, please? Please, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. It's very hard to get into. You must say the secret word. Which is? Pick a needle noodle. Pick a needle noodle? That's it. You're in. What happens now? Look out. It's Daddy Pig. You talk to my daddy. But don't say anything about our secret club. Hello. Ah, there you are, Mummy Sheep. What's new? Uh, um, uh, uh, secret club. Oh, no! Ooh, I always wanted to be in a secret club. Can I join, please? You can't join, Daddy, because you are grown up. Uh, my mummy is grown up. Well, you have to know the magic word. Which is? Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. You're in. What do I do now? Look out. It's Mummy Pig. Follow Mummy in secret. Daddy Pig. Ah, hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing in that bush? Um, uh, secret club. Ooh. I've always wanted to be in a secret club. We can't have everyone in the secret club. It wouldn't be a secret. Oh. I suppose it doesn't have to be a secret secret club. <laughs> it can be the everybody secret club. And everybody can be in it. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> muddy puddle in the world. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. There's so much rain. That means there will be puddles to jump in tomorrow. Oh, goody. You can never have too much rain. <laughs> it is morning. Hooray! <laughs> muddy puddle! Hello, Mrs. Duck. What are you doing here? Wow! The rain has made a flood. Our house is a desert island. Muddy puddles, here I come. Whee! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Who put all this water here? How will we get our food? Daddy will have to swim to the shops. Uh... Grandpa Pig has arrived on his boat. Ahoy there! Wonderful boating weather. Um, yes. We're sailing to the shops. Do you need anything? Yes, please. Can you get us some tomatoes and spaghetti? Tomatoes and spaghetti? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Polly can be our shopping list. 
Who's a clever parrot? Oh, who's a clever parrot? Can we come too, please? <laughs> Hop aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Susie Sheep's house. <laughs> We're going to the shops. Do you need anything? Mummy, do we need anything from the shops? Yes, we need food for dinner. Chocolate, please. Uh, chocolate. <laughs> Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm helping my granddad. We're rescuing people. Great weather for it. Do you need anything from the shops? Uh, maybe a newspaper. And a comic. Newspaper, comic. Grandpa, what's that stick thing in the water? Ah, submarine. Action stations. <laughs> Ahoy there, me hearties! It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing with just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell. Uh, do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh, dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good one. Newspaper and comic. Thanks, Thanks Pepper. It was lucky Pepper was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. Pepper and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. It is morning. Oh. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is playing with her friends. It's Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. Hello, Freddy. Come on, let's cycle through the big hill. Yay! Good morning, Mr Fox. It's afternoon, Mr Pig. Afternoon? Already? My watch must have stopped. My shop sells watches and clocks. Let me see what I've got in the van. One grandfather clock. It's a bit big. Good, isn't it? It actually comes in a set of three. Oh. Who's got the loudest bell? I haven't got a bell. Oh, but my dad will have one in the back of his van. Three clocks are much better than one. Dad, have you got a bicycle bell, please? How many do you want, son? I only want one. Or do them in boxes of two. Freddy Fox now has two bicycle bells. Brilliant. Thanks, Dad. Dad gave me two bells. Wow. What else has your dad got in his van? He's got... Everything. Ooh. What shall we play now? Let's have a bicycle race with a big shiny cup for the winner. But where can we get a cup? Yes, where can we get a cup? I'll see what I can do. 
The best thing about having your own cement mixer is... Dad, have you got a big shiny winner's cup for our bicycle race, please? How important a race is it? It's very important. Will this do? Well, thanks, Dad. It's gold. Yes, it's plastic gold. Ooh. Ooh. One winner's cup is made of plastic gold. Wow. Your daddy's van really has got everything. Yep. Nay. Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh. Oh. oh. And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> the friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't have in your van? Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. <laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. We'd better get home. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. <laughs> oh, I've got no petrol. Mr Fox has everything in his van except petrol. Hmm, I need to get to the petrol station. I would tow you, but I haven't got a tow rope. Oh, I've got plenty of them. I do them in packs of five. Can we come along? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Daddy Pig is towing Mr Fox's van to the petrol station. <laughs> Shake, rattle and bang. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Today, children, we are going to learn about instruments that you shake, rattle and bang. Hooray! First, choose an instrument each from the music room. <laughs> I've got drums. They are called bongo drums, Danny. You bang them with your hands like this. <laughs> I've got a flat bongo drum. That is a boran. It is Irish. You beat it with a little stick, like this. I've got a tambourine. Very good, Pedro. You can also shake it like this. Ooh. I've got a big drum. Ah, the bass drum. Drum. Meow. I don't know what this is called, but it's scrapey. That candy is called a Kiro, and it comes all the way from South America. Wow! How did it get here? I brought it back from my holiday. What are these? They are maracas. I brought them back from my holiday in Spain. This is a triangle. My dad sells these in boxes of ten. Thank you, Freddy. I will remember that. You don't need to go on holiday to get them. Thank you. <coughs> what are these? These are castanets. My dad sells them in boxes of five. Thank you, Freddy. Olé! That is how you play the castanets. Here you are, Emily. Do I have to do the dance? Oh, oh. No, just make the clickety-clack noise. <laughs> ah, I see Rebecca has cymbals. Yes. <laughs> now you know what your instruments sound like. We can play them all together. Ready? Steady, go! Stop, stop, stop! 
That is not music. That is just noise. Anybody can bang, bang, bang. But to make music, you have to listen to each other and keep in time. Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. All the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now, we will learn how to play our instruments together. Meow. The parents have come to pick up the children. Ah, you're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra. Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. and her friends are going to the gym today. Let's check you've all got your gym kits on. Pedro is wearing a superhero costume. Pedro, where is your gym kit? It's at home. I thought it was dressing up day. Follow me, children. This is the gym where mummies and daddies come to exercise and enjoy themselves. Are you all having fun? Yes! yes. Lots, Lots of, of fun. fun! Your gym teacher for today is Grumpy Rabbit. Where is he? Hello, children! Are you ready to exercise? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. Do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you. But you, you look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> and rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Well, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. And my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I 
can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> ah! Ready? Don't forget to do the call. Ah! Everyone has crossed the pretend crocodile swamp safely. Well done! What's our next adventure? This is a vault. Big athletes jump over it like this. <laughs> but you can pretend it's a dinosaur and crawl through its legs. Have you crawled through a dinosaur's legs, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, yes. Once, I was walking in the jungle when I stumbled into a lost world of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! You've made it out of the jungle! Hooray! Aho! Uh -huh. Did you have a good gym class, children? Yes, Madam Gazelle. They're real little explorers now. We walked across a river. And we swung over crocodiles. And we crawled under a dinosaur. I love doing gym class with Grampy Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Paper aeroplanes. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. Good. That's all the papers I need. Bye. Bye-bye, Daddy. Mummy, can we make something? Yes. What would you like to make? Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George <laughs> likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. We know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Ooh. Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. My turn! Whee! Pepper's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George! Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop-the-loop -loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. <laughs> Daddy Pig! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow, fantastic. You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready, steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Peppa. Uh, why are we at the duck pond? Oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. The only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Hmm. 
Hmm. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you flew a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. That might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it flew and flew forever. Ah! It's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? What a great idea to make it into a paper aeroplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes. Well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. Ah, that's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> <laughs> Sun, sea and snow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Tomorrow, we're going on a coach trip to the seaside. We can make sand castles. I fancy a swim. Me too. The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Oh, it is starting to snow. <laughs> it is morning. Yippee! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! Hey, what? <laughs> we are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? <gasps> it's a walking snowman! I'm cold! <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman! <laughs> Oh, it's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Pepper's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snowplow. Snowplows push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside, too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr Bull. Ooh, hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night. But the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Miss <laughs> Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. We're all going on a seaside Side. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. 
OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! love the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Rabbit's helicopter. Pepper and her family have come to the summer fate. <laughs> Look! A display of rescue vehicles. Grandad Dog is showing his pickup truck. This is the sound my pickup truck makes. <laughs> Mummy Sheep is showing the fire engine. <laughs> this is the sound the fire engine makes. And Miss Rabbit is showing her rescue helicopter. This is the sound my helicopter makes. Helicopter reversing. Helicopter reversing. Would you like to go for a ride? Yes, please. <laughs> OK, hop in. <laughs> oh, dear. There's no room for me. Never mind. I'll watch from the ground. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Whee-hee! We're going up in the air. Yes, it can go straight up. <laughs> it can go straight down. And loop and loop. Whoa! <laughs> poor Daddy, he's missing all the fun. Yes, poor Daddy. One ice cream, please. Mmm, <laughs> that's nice. Maybe we should land now. Emergency! Emergency! Calling rescue helicopter. I'm on my way. You're in luck. We've got a job to do. Mr. Bull is digging up the road. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit! I've got a big metal pipe that needs lifting. OK, Mr Bull. How can you lift that big pipe? With my big magnet. Hooray! What are you going to do with the pipe? Um, I'm not really sure. I know. I'll put it down here where someone can easily find it. Now I can give you a lift home. But what about Daddy? Hello. Daddy Pig, can you make your own way home? Miss Rabbit is giving us a lift. OK. Daddy, Daddy, we went up and down and round and round. Oh, oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. <laughs> Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Great down recovery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello? Fire service? I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa! I'm 
flying. Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Hooray! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! yes. It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even move the loop. <laughs> Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. Freddy Fox! Pepper and her friends are playing at Rebecca Rabbit's house. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. <laughs> we'll all hide and Pepper can find us. OK. One. Everyone must find a hiding place before Pepper counts to ten. Danny and Candy are hiding in the branches of a little tree. Zoe, Pedro and Rebecca are hiding behind a fence. Susie and Emily are hiding behind a bush. Nine, ten. Where's your not? Here I come. <laughs> I know where you are. Oh. <laughs> oh. Pepper cannot find anyone. <gasps> this is impossible. Freddy Fox has come to play. Hello, Freddy. <coughs> Hello, Pepper. What are you doing? We're playing hide and seek, but I can't find anyone. Shall I find them for you? You can try, but it's impossible. <coughs> Watch this. <laughs> Found you. Oh, hello, Freddy. Aha, there you are. Oh. oh. Both. Oh. Freddy Fox has found everyone. How did you do that? I'm good at smelling. What's smelling got to do with it? I can find you by sniffing your smell. <laughs> I'm not smelly. I had a bath last night. I know. You smell nice. Oh. <laughs> I could even find you with my eyes closed. Go on, then. <coughs> find Susie with your eyes closed. Easy. Hide, Susie. One, One two, two, three, Susie four, is looking for somewhere to hide. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Freddy is looking for Susie with his eyes closed. He is sniffing where Susie Sheep has walked. Round the tree, behind the little bush, and back up the hill. Found you. Oh, <laughs> all thanks to my nose. It's a super nose. Yes, it is. Has Everything got a smell. Oh, yes. Everything has a different smell. What do I smell of? <laughs> you smell of flowers and Wellington boots. <laughs> <laughs> what do I smell of? You smell of wet grass and biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> what do I smell of? Bananas and jam. <laughs> What do I smell of? Milk and fish fingers. <laughs> what do I smell of? Pedro, you smell of toothpaste. Oh. What's your favourite smell? Eggs. What is the worst thing you've ever smelled? Blue cheese. Pooey! <laughs> <laughs> It's nearly dinner time. How do you know? I can smell carrot soup. I can smell carrot soup too. And, and me. me. Dinner's ready. Come and get your carrot soup. <laughs> Everyone is enjoying Mummy Rabbit's carrot soup. This soup is yummy. Who can that be? Mr Fox has come to take Freddy home. Mmm, oh, I can smell dinner. Oh, Mr Fox. Hello. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. Hello, Dad. I've just had my dinner down a rabbit hole. Good lad. And can you guess what's for pudding? <laughs> Smells nice. 
I'd say strawberry jelly. That's right. Mr Fox loves smelling things. <laughs> Everyone loves smelling things. <laughs> <laughs> It is playtime at school. Pepper and her friends are running around having fun. Ow! That hurts. Are you all right, Peppa? I've hurt my knee. <whistles> Madam Gazelle, Peppa has fallen over. You've just grazed your knee, Peppa. First, Madam Gazelle cleans Peppa's knee. Then she puts a plaster on it. Does that feel any better? Yes. Thank you. Now, children, you may have noticed that Pedro Pony isn't here today. Is he late again? No, Susie. Pedro is in hospital. Ooh. And today we are going to visit him. This is the hospital. Pepper and her friends have come to visit Pedro Pony. Remember, children, stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Excuse me, Mr. Bull, which way is the children's ward? Down the steps, double doors, right, left, right, along the corridor, up the stairs, third on your left. Ah. Or you could just take the left. <laughs> <laughs> children's ward. <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow. The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee and I got a plaster too. Wow. Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr Potato. A carrot. <laughs> and I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow! Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Pedro, what's it like being in hospital? It's great. What are the nurses like? They give me stickers. Wow. And they come whenever I press this button. Who's that, I wonder? Could it be Pedro? What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching, it's my ear. <laughs> is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lunch time. What would you like to eat today, Pedro? Can I have spaghetti and sponge pudding, please? You get your dinner in bed? Yes. Mmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Dr Brown Bear has come to see how Pedro is doing. How are we today, Pedro? My ear is a bit itchy. Just here. Mmm, <laughs> I'd say you're almost better. <laughs> Visiting time is over. Bye, Pedro. Bye, everyone. Get well soon, Pedro. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> it is another school day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the playground. Madam Gazelle, my plaster has fallen off. Can I have another one? You don't need a plaster, Pepper. Your knee is better. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Pedro Pony is back. Oh, hello, Pedro. Where's your plaster cast? They took it off because my leg is better. Is your leg strong now? It's stronger than it was before. It's a super leg. Can you run on it? Watch this. No. <laughs> Pedro likes running around having fun. <laughs> Everybody likes running around having fun. Whistling. It 
it is a lovely sunny morning and Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm reading the newspaper. You're making a funny sound. I'm whistling. Oh. Whistling is fun. You should try it. I don't know how to. It's easy. Just put your lips together and blow. <whistles> try making a smaller O shape. <laughs> oh, oh, like this. And then you can whistle a tune. Uh, I've got the wrong kind of mouth. Your mouth is fine. You just need to practice. It's impossible. It takes time to learn how to do important things, like riding a bicycle or playing the piano. <laughs> it took me years to learn how to wiggle my ears. Wow! <laughs> Mummy Pig is in the kitchen making cookies. What are you doing, Peppa? I'm learning to whistle. Oh, I see. <sighs> Mummy, can you whistle? I don't know. I've never tried. It takes a lot of practice. <gasps> oh, yes! Mummy Pig can whistle. You can whistle because you are old, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. <sighs> George is in the bedroom, playing with his toy rocket. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible, like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. <laughs> can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Peppa. Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. What's whistling, anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. <whistles> Hello, Peppa? The cookies are ready. Oh, goody! Cookies! <coughs> They'll be hot. You should blow on them first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want a cookie, Peppa? No, thank you, Mummy. I think I might go outside and be on my own for a little bit. Can you whistle yet? It's no use, Daddy. I'm never going to whistle, ever. Have you been practising? Yes, lots, but it doesn't work. You need a little rest, Pepper. Here, have a cookie. It's hot. You should blow. What's that? It sounded like a whistle to me. <laughs> what a lovely tune. Pepper has learned how to whistle. <laughs> I can whistle.